Hi, Gemini. It's Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Gemini sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. And, you know, this week is um, the winter solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. And so it's always amazing that the wheel is always turning and the cycles of seasons of life. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands. So with this Five of Cups, we see the hooded person looking down at the spilled cups with two full cups behind. This is a card that suggests feeling regret or being disappointed either in a, by a circumstance within your life or maybe by a person or a relationship, but there's some sense of um, emotional letdown, uh, an inability to let things go. So you're just kind of thinking maybe from a half empty perspective, you know, crying over spilt milk. And so with the Five of Cups, Yes, everyone has times when they feel hurt or they feel betrayed or they feel a sense of loss or they kind of sense that maybe things are slipping away when you're dating someone or, or something has changed and it kind of tugs at your heart. Well, this is a card where you're really feeling that sense of loss and, you know, again, this card can relate to relationships. It can relate to uh, circumstances of a job. You know, you had a great job and maybe something happened and it's not what it was. And so you're just thinking back about the loss of what you had. And so the problem with this and what's important to think about is that you have to get out of looking here at what is spilled and you have to think about what the future may hold for you and that there are possibilities and that there are new potential great things to come your way. Uh, getting stuck here in regret is not going to help you move forward. And, and so you've got to just find a way to begin to let it leave your system. And perhaps with the Eight of Wands, this is a, um, a nice little message that is saying that once you're able to start to move past from this, you're going to be busy. You're going to have a lot of things to do with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is a, uh, a card that suggests movement, being busy, having activities, meeting up with friends, perhaps uh, pursuing new projects or closing old projects and thinking about new ones, but it's really a sense of, um, of of being in motion and perhaps having to make quick decisions or swift decision, but there's a sense here of things are moving. And so once you're able to put this behind you, you're going to be able to move forward. Uh, the Eight of Wands is also about messages and, and communication. So it could be getting a call, it could be getting an email, maybe inviting you to a party, maybe inviting you to a movie or whatever it may be, but there's this opportunity for you to be busy and being active and pursuing your passions or your enthusiasms can help bridge this little um, feeling of um, loss or disappointment. And so, uh, you know, Pay attention to the Eight of Wands and the movement. I think this is a big card within this reading, which is to um, keep yourself busy. And as I say that, when we look at the Ten of Wands, you know, the Ten of Wands is, is too much of a burden. It is uh, having a lot of strength to be able to push these wands up the street right toward your goal, but ultimately, you're feeling like uh, it's just too much on your plate, that you have too many responsibilities, too many obligations, and it's exhausting. 
and it's tiring and so uh, it can be very stressful it can be m debts or bills piling up at this time of the year so this is a card that is um, really saying go ahead and delegate or talk to people to say you need to carry your load or you need to um, chip in here I need some help I can't do it all myself but this is a card of uh, you know interesting here with the eight of wands of messages or moving movement of being active and yet here's this sense of feeling overwhelmed and feeling uh, overburdened and so how do you find the balance between the two of getting yourself in a position to feel happy to be thriving to enjoy company to be with others to enjoy the time of the year and yet not to overextend yourself and not to um, you know make yourself feel exhausted and that leads to being feeling sick so uh, it's very curious reading because it is uh, you know too much here too much burden too much on your plate here is a suggestion of put things in motion maybe again doing things moderately uh, new pet projects for yourself that are gonna lift your spirits but not overwhelm you perhaps and here's a sense of really uh, just having a, having a few moments and having time spent where you're thinking about what has disappointed you what is uh, causing you this sense of feeling let down so let's take a look at the numbers we have 5 and 8 is 13 and 13 and 10 is 23 and 23 reduces to 5 and 5 is about new cycles it's about adjustments and having to be flexible and honestly the challenges that we face within life and finally to close the reading I'd like to pull uh, an oracle from the Gateway Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. So we'll just get a sense of an additional message for this reading. Okay. Stepping into stillness, my power is born in the majest majesty of silence. So stepping into stillness, and you might feel that you want some stillness after this Ten of Wands and after the swift movement of the Eight of Wands. So make stepping into stillness uh, work to your advantage, which is create a little downtime for yourself, uh, rest, eat well, meditate, uh, do nothing, you know, don't have to clean the house every day, give yourself a break. But stepping into stillness is a nice way to recharge and to recover and to create some more balance within your life. So uh, power is born in the majesty of silence, probably because you can hear your own thoughts when it's silent, or at least you can uh, have a better sense of what they're trying to tell you. So I hope that you have a great Sunday and that it's happy and productive. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a wonderful way to show support and to stay connected. And click on the little bell notification so that you don't miss any of my free readings. So hope to see you soon. Come back again tomorrow for another Daily Tarot reading. Take care. Bye-bye.